Tonight, the chairman of the Pasquotank County Board of Commissioners is breaking his silence. Chairman Lloyd Griffin is asking for patience in, in the public release of the body cam video, adding that everyone should want a fair and proper investigation. Tomorrow morning, Brown's family will sit down and watch the video for the first time. Angelo Vargas is in Elizabeth City now with the details. The family of Andrew Brown Jr. and their legal counsel will finally watch the body camera video tomorrow morning inside the Pasquotank County Sheriff's Office after days of calling for its release. On Saturday, Sheriff Tommy Wooten announced they asked the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation if releasing the body camera video would interfere with their current investigation into the shooting death of Andrew Brown Jr. Once I get that confirmation, our county will file a motion in court, hopefully Monday, to have the footage released. Just moments before Sheriff Hoon's announcement, Brown's family and their attorney, Harry Daniels, held their own conference demanding to see the video. This family have not been afforded the opportunity to see what happened. According to North Carolina's law, a judge has to sign off on the release of the video. Daniels called for a change on how the state handles police body camera footage. Also during the conference, the Pasquotank County NAACP chapter president, Keith Rivers, demanded Sheriff Hoon to resign. Sheriff Hoon told 13 News Now he will not resign and will continue to work in the county where he was elected. Andrew Brown Jr.'s family will be watching the video on Monday morning around 1130. After that, they plan to hold a press conference at the sheriff's office in Elizabeth City. Angelo Vargas, 13 News Now. Thanks, Angelo. And tomorrow afternoon, we'll bring you the family's press conference live. This is happening after they watch the body cam footage. That's at 1130. So stick with us for updates both on air and online.